Good evening, welcome to Complin on this Tuesday the 2nd of August. My name is Reverend Jenny Walpole. So let us worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm number 143 Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for truly I am your servant. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into my hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. 
Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Holy God, this night may we know your careful watch and your love. Protect us from all things that harm us. Help us to cast our anxieties on you. And we pray this day for those who have received any bad news, those who are in distress or in pain of any kind. We lift them to you, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we offer up our prayers to you for all those who have been on our hearts or minds this day. Those we have seen or spent time with. And those who are in our prayers this moment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our households, our communities. We pray for the congregations that we are part of. We pray for our neighbours and those we pass on the street. We pray for those who will be without a home this evening and those who are seeking a home and a new life. We pray especially for refugees and those who are displaced. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy and loving God, we pray that your justice will reign. We pray for those who are facing violence, who live in amongst war. We pray for those who are suffering due to serious political unrest. We pray for countries where there is poverty and hardship. We pray for those who are facing the consequences of climate change. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray this night for those who face discrimination, unfair treatment, intolerance and prejudice. We pray for LGBTQIA plus people. We pray for minorities. Pray for those who are oppressed. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy and loving God, we pray for the Lambeth Conference here in Canterbury. We pray for all bishops and spouses who have travelled to be here in Canterbury. We pray for the discussions, the prayer and the worship that is taking place. Help us, Lord, to be a church that honours you in all that we do. Help us to lead lives worthy of your love. And we pray especially for those shepherds, servants, ministers and bishops who lead your church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a few moments of silence, we call to mind any prayers of our own. Pray for those who have been in hospital seeking medical treatment. We pray for those whose anniversary of death fall at this time, those who have recently departed. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion. Nourish us with your goodness and of your great mercy, keep us in the same through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. Please do join us again tomorrow morning for morning prayer at 9am. Have a good and peaceful night.